Adelina families, I'm going to show you guys right now how you can log into Microsoft Teams so that you're able to access your classes. Um, you're going to want to make sure you do this before the start of school on August 17th, as some of your teachers might be doing a live stream of the in-person class if you are not in school. And so this will be a very, very important tool that you'll want to be able to access. So in order to get to Teams, in case you haven't done it before, you just need to remember how, you're going to go to login.microsoftonline.com. So L-O-G-I-N dot M-I-C-R-O-S-O-F-T-O-N-L-I-N-E dot com. And that is going to take you to the login page. So you're going to sign into your Microsoft account. Now every student has a Microsoft account using their student ID at washoschools.org, O-R-G. So you would just replace where I have student ID here with your student ID. Now once you've put in your student ID at washoschools.org, which I'm going to use my username because I don't have a student ID, it's going to take you to the login page which is going to prompt you to put in your password. Now if you don't know what your password is, it is the same as what you use to log into the computers at school. If you don't remember that password or you're not 100% sure, you can contact Miss Leslie at the Galena office by calling the school and she would be able to reset that for you or at least get you to the right place so that you can have it reset. So you're going to want to type in your password and then you're going to select sign in. Once you've done that, sometimes it'll ask you if you want to remember this device or anything like that. That's kind of up to you. But once you've completely logged in, you're going to be given this page for Office 365. Sure. Um, so Office 365 has all of these apps available to you. Now if you want to download Office apps on your computer, you can select Install Office and then you can do Install Office 365 apps and that'll download Outlook, OneDrive, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. I do not believe that it downloads Teams automatically, so if you want to do that, I'll show you how to do that once you get into Teams. To get into Teams, you're going to click on the Teams icon here, and that is going to take you onto your Microsoft Teams account because you're logged in. Now, when you get to this first page, it's actually going to say, would you like to use the Teams Windows app? And this will download the Windows app if you choose that, we're just going to do the web app instead. If your computer has a decent amount of hard drive space, I would highly recommend that you download the app. It works a lot better on the desktop app as opposed to using the web, but it does work in the web. So after that, once you're in, you're going to now have access to your classes. You should be able to see all of your courses that you're enrolled in on the side. Now, if you don't see some of your courses, this is be the chance. This would be the opportunity to email any of your teachers to make sure that you are in that team. Now, keep in mind that you're probably not going to be added into classes until at least that first week before school comes back between the 10th and the 14th. I would say if you're not in your class team by the 13th, you should probably contact the teacher of your class so that you can make sure that you're in there so you're ready when we get back to school on the 17th and you have access to all of those materials. Now if your teacher is doing a live stream of the class you'll want to make sure that you're on here the time that that class would have started first period being 8 a.m. second period being uh, 9 50 etc. There should be a channel created just for live streaming. Right now I don't have that channel yet, but there would be a channel down here that would say live streaming. You'll click on that and it'll give you the opportunity to join the live stream and then you'll be able to participate in class from a distance. If you have any questions about anything with Teams, feel free to use the Teams help with Microsoft Office or email anyone at the school and they can help you guide you to the correct source to get those answers that you're looking for. 
Hopefully this all makes a lot of sense for you and this will be really powerful as we do our hybrid learning. Make sure that you have access to Teams before school starts. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you guys very, very soon.